So it's 17 minutes to four o'clock. What else is out? Mile 22. Marky Mark Wahlberg is James Silver, elite CIA ground branch agent. Um, they kind of they do the stuff when everything else has failed, who we first meet as part of a team taking out a house full of uh, baddies and suspects. He is, we are told, super sharp of mind, hyperactive mentally. And... Uh, the way this is depicted in the film is that he does blank jigsaw puzzles or jigsaw puzzles turned upside down. It was never quite clear. And he plays with an elastic band because he's got so much mental energy that he just plays with this elastic band. Okay. That's right. There was a film in which Forrest Whitaker did the same thing. And you just knew that there was a meeting at the beginning. Of the thing. He said, I've, got a, I've got an idea. I'm going to, I've got a, I've got a band around. I'm going to play with the elastic. It's my character. So anyway, there's a lot of playing with the elastic band to demonstrate how Do they then get to play the rubber band man? <laughs> no. Which is a great song, no? Anyway, so now he and his... No, they missed a trick. Mm -hmm. So he and his team must escort uh, a precious asset who is... Um, AKI, who across a, who's from brilliant in the, in the raid, um, across a hostile city in an unnamed Southeast Asian country. 22 miles, that's the, the, the mile 22 of the title. They have to get him on a plane in return for some crucial codes that will help them stop a weapons of mass destruction attack. Here's a clip. That's my asset. Who is he? Lee Noor. I don't want to know his name. I don't know what he does for a living. I want to know who is he? A loner. No kids, no family, 100% accurate and reliable. You mark him or he mark you? I marked him. He says he has the exact locations of all six sets of seizing. He's locked it on a disc. He says only if we get him out of the country and give him asylum will he open the disc. You gonna deal with this or you want me to handle it? I got it. This is serious, right? Oh, very. So that's uh, the clip from the film. Uh, you were just asking about the pronunciation of Eco Waste. Yeah. And in fact, because I was... Uncertain. I, I, what I did was I went through a whole bunch of things until I heard him saying his own name, and it is Eco Waste like that. Thank you. And uh, so the story is fairly simple, right? They've got to get the guy from here to here, and a load of people are going to try and stop them getting from here to here, and Marky Mark and his funky bunch have got to achieve this thing. Whilst Somehow, um, Peter Berg, with, with whom Wahlberg has worked before on those... They've done a sort of series of movies about, you know, heroism and uh, often kind of very patriotic forms of heroism. Just seems intent on making it as complicated as possible. So, firstly, you know, the jittery camera work, the skittish editing, cutting back and forth between the action and interviews and also instructions, um, sort of voice in the head instructions from the control team, as led by John Malkovich, doing the John Malkovich thing, which basically says, look, I've put on a wig and I've turned up for a couple of days. Give me a bazillion dollars and then let me go home. So John Malkovich is doing that. I'm just... I'm just here for the money. I'm literally... I'm not leaving this room. This is all I'm doing here. And he's talking into Marky Mark Wahlberg's ear. All this stuff is going on, and it's like cutting that and cutting backwards and forwards in this constant, constant monologuing. In fact, at one point, the Malkovich character actually says, stop monologuing, to which I just thought, my thoughts entirely, Mr Malkovich. There are a couple of decent action sequences, but if you look at something like The Raid, if you have a talent like Eco Ace, and he is, you know, it's really sort of impressive stuff, don't give him a fight sequence in which what you then do is put a million cuts in everywhere so that, the, you know, it's like that thing when you watch Chicago and you think they may be brilliant dancers. I can't tell because you haven't concentrated on anybody's foot for more than half a second. The, the plot itself is just... It, it's just like it, it seems to be... It seems to be constantly trying to tell you that it's it's deep and meaningful and other stuff going on. And in fact, all it does is it takes you out of it. And so although every now and then, I mean, there's no question that Peter Berg know, knows how to put together an action sequence. There's no, no question that he has got a kind of muscular sensibility. But the politics of the film are, you know, are that kind of utterly suspect. Hey, we're going to do whatever we have to do to do the thing we have to do, because that's what real patriotism is about. It's about doing those things. Mark Wahlberg's character is swings between being preposterous, playing with a rubber band and a bit dull. And again, it's a thing when there's a lot of stuff going on, there's a lot of noise, there's a lot of blather, but it's actually really not about very much at all. It's surprisingly unengaging. And, and the, the biggest shame of it is that it wastes the talent of, you know, it, of its, of its on-screen. Because, I mean, I like Mark Wahlberg in a lot of things. I think Mark Wahlberg is an interesting actor. I think sometimes he's bit of a foolish person, but I think he's an interesting actor, but this is not good. 
Email from Ian Wright, who signs up Ian Wright, but not that one. Dear Marky Mark and Marky Simon, <clears throat> regarding Mile 22, it's not a film I hated, but I had three main issues with it. One, Marky Mark's character. Unlike other people, I do like Mr. Wahlberg yeah, in me some too. films. Me too. In particular, his previous work with Peter Berg on Lone Survivor and Deepwater Horizon. Yeah. However, in this, his character is just too unlikable, leaving little room for any sympathy. Two, the film structure staging Marky Mark in the middle of an inquiry and cutting to flashbacks That's right. so, of the film's events unfolding, yeah. this immediately takes away any sense of danger. It does. Three, the most important issue was the wasted use of Eco Uwais, who I absolutely love from The Raid and The Raid 2. He has an intriguing story and can clearly hold his own in the action sequences, but the way they're filmed and edited makes it hard to focus on. I didn't hate it, just a bit of disappointment and a wasted opportunity. Yeah, I mean, there is definitely a sense of a wasted opportunity about it. I mean, it, it, you really do get that. Uh, so that is um, Mile 22. Yes. 